Hey, what's up guys? It's your buddy Ben here from Twig Cycles out of Hagerstown, Maryland. And today we're gonna be checking out the 2024 Triumph Scrambler 1200X. We're gonna dive in, get to know the bike a little bit, talk about some of the features and benefits and what makes this bike different than the XE. So let's dive in. All right, guys, so here we are. Brand new 2024 Triumph Scrambler 1200X. Triumph hit the nail on the head with this bike. Beautiful color scheme. This Scrambler 1200X is gonna be available in three different colors. This particular one is called Ash Gray. And I don't know if you can quite tell, but if you look close enough, you can actually see a little bit of sparkle in that Triumph logo, which is just a beautiful touch. And if we're gonna work our way back here and check out this nice dark brown stitch seat that they included on this motorcycle. So um, very cool. I've always been a huge fan of the Scrambler models. I like that they're just kind of that, you know, Swiss army knife of classic motorcycles. So um, yeah, let's get to know a little bit more. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the differences, uh, this bike, as opposed to the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE, and then we're gonna dive into some of the nitty gritty. Uh, so first things first, and this is gonna be the big one, uh, and kind of the goal behind this bike was the seat height. So obviously we know the XE is rather tall, so to make this bike a little bit more uh, accessible to other riders, they lowered the seat height on this bike. Uh, so we have a 32.28 inch seat height, which is actually 1.96 inches less, lower rather, than the XE. Now, if 32.28 inches is not low enough for you, they also have an accessory low seat, which lowers you another 0.98 inches. The other big difference of uh, this bike compared to the XE is gonna be, this does not feature your Olin suspension. However, this does feature uh, both front and rear Marzocchi front forks and rear piggyback shocks. So nice blacked out forks there. And like I say, you get the rear piggyback shocks here from Marzocchi. I always actually pronounce it Marzocchi, but I was told that I was wrong by saying it that way. So, <laughs> so something else that's different about this bike as opposed to the XE is gonna be our handlebar setup and our display. So those of you that are Trident 660 or Tiger Sport 660 owners, you're gonna notice very similar. Actually, this is the same handlebar setup and display setup as well. And the 1200X you're gonna notice also comes with a true cut key, which me being the old school guy that I am, I would 100% rather go with a cut key any day over a fob. But um, so we have our nice simple display setup as well. Like I say, transferring over from the Trident 660, which I think actually fits the aesthetic of the bike. You know, um, obviously we have round turn signals, round mirrors, round headlight. Uh, and might as well just throw the classic round uh, display setup on there as well. And of course, very similar handlebar setup. Nothing crazy here. Obviously, we have our clutch, throttle, hazards. We have our engine cutoff switch there, which is actually integrated with our start button as well. Over on the left-hand side, of course, we have our clutch, which by the way, we do have adjustable levers on the brake side and our clutch side. And of course, we have our mode, our select button, turn signals, and of course our horn. The uh, menu buttons here actually allow us to go through, of course, our menu. So we can scroll through here like so, make our adjustments as needed. So, and of course, like I said, at the very top here, uh, this is always going to stay the same. This down here is what's gonna change as we go through our menu buttons, but this is always gonna show our, our tachometer fuel gauge and our speedometer right there in the center. So let's dive into some of the specifics on this bike. So one of the things that I love about the 1200X, not only do I love the way that it looks, but they transferred over a lot of stuff from the XE. So not only that, we have uh, tubeless tires. So I like, I love the way they mounted the spokes on the outside of the rim like this. So we do actually have true tubeless tires. And these by the way are Metzler tires, uh, Metzler Carew Street tires to be exact. The other thing too is gonna to be that power plant. So same 1200 CC parallel twin is what is featured in the Scrambler 1200 XE. This motor boasting 90 horsepower and 81 point foot pounds, uh, 81.1 foot pounds of torque. You're gonna to notice we have this big, beautiful tank. This is a 3.96 gallon tank. So just under four gallons we have. Overall weight on the Scrambler 1200X. It's coming in at 502 pounds, and that is wet weight as well. So that is full tank of gas, oiled up, ready to go, 502 pounds, ready to roll. Those of you that are curious, uh, front tire on this bike is a 90-90-21, and we have a 150-70-17 in the rear. And like I say, Metzler Carew Street tires, 
and these are indeed a tubeless tire. By the way, this is indeed a liquid-cooled motorcycle, so you can see we have the radiator mounted right up front there. And of course, right underneath our radiator, we have uh, this, by the way, is a, a poly, more of like a poly uh, skid plate. You can truly get an actual steel or aluminum, rather, uh, skid plate for the bottom of this. So if you want a little bit of an added protection, you can do that. And I know some of you are curious, so I'm going to go ahead and fire it up here so you can see what the exhaust or hear what the exhaust sounds like. And uh, something I did kind of actually accidentally skip over, um, the power modes on this. So this still does indeed come through different power modes. So I'm gonna scroll through those here for you. So you'll notice we have a, whoops. So we have sport, off-road, rider, which is actually, uh, you can select your, uh, what mode you want your power in or your traction control, and our rain mode. So, and those are our selections. So we have road, sport, off-road, rider, rain and we're back to road mode overall i'm very impressed with what tribe did with this brand new uh rendition of the scrambler 1200 this being the 1200x so again to kind of wrap up we still have that same power plant that same 90 horsepower 81.1 foot pound torque uh, engine that same power plant out of the 1200 xe we still have a 3.96 gallon tank so we have still have that nice big tank uh, but like I say, lower seat heights is a little bit more manageable to those uh, with the shorter inseam. Um, now we can, like I say, if we want to replace this poly plate, we can get something a little bit tougher down there. We can also get the uh, hand guards up here. There's endless possibilities with these scramblers, uh, which is why I love these. I love the, the ruggedness of the scrambler. Um, I love the simplicity. I love what they did with transferring over that handlebar setup, that nice, simple handlebar setup, like I say, from the Trident 660, all the simplistics. All the bare necessities, nice, you know, like I say, cut key, which I love. I'm a big fan of just having a, I'm an old school guy, so I'd rather just have a cut key. And uh, also, I love what they did with that just very simple display. They gave you all the bare necessities. You still get the power modes that transfer over. Good suspension on this thing as well. Like I say, this is a uh, 1.96 inches lower than the XE. Yet as far as our tires go, we have the Metzler Carew Street tires. And those are indeed a tubeless tire as well, but very well executed, very well. And this color uh, has just been absolutely popular. Um, this has been a hit, that ash gray is what they're calling it. So, contrasts very well with that beautiful brown Triumph seat, stitch seat as well. So, yeah, they did a, did a bang up job on this thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up, get back to work here. If you guys have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section below. If there's something about the 1200X that I did not cover that you feel I should have covered, please leave that in the comment section below and I will get that addressed momentarily. Um, if you guys ever want to stop on by, 200 South Edgewood Drive is where you can find us right here in Hub City. That is Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, we're about 10, 15 minutes south of the Pennsylvania border, not too far from Gettysburg, PA. So stop on by. Uh, your boy Ben is out. I'm going to go hit the road.